Hello my friends, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, okay, I'm going to paint something very different than unique this week. You may not be used to this kind of a subject. Um, it may not be to everyone's taste, but I'd like to try it. Um, you know I like to try something different um, rather than painting just the usual landscapes all of the time. Um, I find if I just paint landscapes over and over and over again, uh, I just don't kind of tend to enjoy it very much if I do it too much. So I think it's nice for every artist to branch out and try something different. Um, so what I'm going to paint is um, water droplets, big water droplets coming down on the canvas. Okay, I hope you understand what I mean. Uh, I have a photograph here behind me. Uh, it's a beautiful photograph, lovely colours, but very close up water droplets with the highlights and all that kind of thing, trying to create... Um, a 3D effect on the canvas as if it's jumping out from the canvas. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I'm using a can uh, MDF board. Uh, it's half inch MDF. I gave this three coats of primer. I gave it a very light rub with some sandpaper. So I think we're good to go. You can see it's still not perfect, but I'm putting a lot of paint on this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. MDF is a beautiful surface to work on. Um, just to try something different from the usual canvas. It's very smooth, you can get very fine lines, and when you paint on MDF, the subject tends to look much more realistic um, because you don't see the grain of the canvas on the brush strokes. So each brush stroke is nice and crisp and sharp and clear. So I'm gonna try something like that this week, all right? Two parts, I would say, part one and part two. So um, I'm gonna get my paint set up and uh, I hope you enjoy it, something different. I'll try not to make it too complicated, but I really want to create a nice painting. So if you're just kind of beginning and you're starting out, you could just take a single section of this picture um, and just try that, all right? I think it's very good just to open your mind to different things and learning different things about the brush strokes and, you know, how to get certain colours and that kind of a thing. So let's just try it. It's a bit of fun. I hope you enjoy it. Um, okay, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, here we go. Now, there's the drawing. Couple of water droplets. They're big, so we can get into a lot of detail, you see. Um, this is just a rough sketch, okay? Now, I'm gonna put the photograph on the screen. Now, this photograph is landscape, isn't it? But I'm gonna use my own interpretation and make it a lengthways. I think it would look much better on a horizontal board like this. So I just moved some little water droplets around on the board. That's all I did. So um, as I'm painting these, now we're going to zoom in and I'm going to show you the picture of just this droplet on its own, okay? So we can do one at a time, okay? And putting putting up different fo different photographs of each one. I think that would be best, best wouldn't it? And uh, I can zoom in as well, a little bit closer later on. But look, the background first. Um, beautiful blue against a kind of an orangey, browny orange. Isn't that lovely? two very complementary colours and that's why I think this is going to look nice because you've the very dark darks of the water droplet here with some very bright highlights around the edges so I think it's really going to look stunning I hope it looks stunning but it's something I wanted to try so let's go let's try it let's have a bit of fun now what I'm doing is concentrating on the background colour I'm not taking any notice whatsoever of all these little hazy dots here and there okay try and look past all of that if you can just focus on the colour, a nice orangey colour and a nice blue colour. I think we'll start with the orangey colour first, all right, because blue is very difficult to get off the brush once it's there. So I'll start with the orangey colour first. Let's try cadmium red. Now I'm thinking, should I maybe oil the canvas? I'm not too sure, or not the canvas, the board. Um, I'm not too sure because an MDF board is very smooth, so there's no, I don't think there's any need to oil this board with some linseed oil or something. I think we'll just go with the paint and a little thinners and let's see what happens, okay? Let's just see, come on, let's have a bit of fun. Cadmium red, I'll tell you what colors I have. Titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow pale, cadmium red, born cyanide, phthalo blue, magenta and black. I think that's all we need. So this kind of an orangey color, it's a brownie kind of an orange, isn't it? So let's take cadmium yellow, cadmium red together, put those together. Okay, that gives us a rich orange, doesn't it? What I'm going to do then is I'm going to tone this down with some burnt sienna, and that will give us a brownie kind of an orange that we want. Okay, let me just take a look now and see. Also, 
I can see a little hint of a pinkiness in the orange. Okay, there's a very slight touch of pinkiness. So I'm going to take some magenta, put some magenta into that. That should kind of give us that slightly pinky kind of an orange hue that we have. Um, it's a difficult colour to describe. Now into that, just to lighten that because it's very dark, you can see that, um, I'm going to put some Naples yellow. And the Naples yellow, once you add the Naples yellow, it gives it a lovely creamy texture, all right? And it makes the paint more opaque because on their own, those colours are very translucent, meaning you'll see what's, whatever's behind them, okay? But by using Naples yellow as a thickener, it covers much more. You see what I mean? Now, a little more magenta, I think. And I think we're not far off with this colour, are we? What do you think? Should we try it? Okay, a little more Naples yellow. Let's lighten it a bit. So you see what's happening is the Naples yellow with the magenta are kind of giving this beautiful, pasty, pinky colour. And it's still holding some of that orangey kind of a ready colour as well. Okay, now I think that's not bad. I'm going to go around my little water droplets with that colour. And I won't go too high with this colour because just in the corner I think it's nice. With everything else, a kind of a bluey shade. So I don't want to overpower the canvas too much. I'll just go as far as there. Okay. And um, as I come up, I'm going to start adding more magenta. So it's going to get more and more pink. All right. Okay. Just like that. Because remember, we're going from an orangey shade into a blue. So if you mix those two colors together, orange and a blue, you're going to get greeny muddy green colors so it's always a very good idea when you're mixing between blues and yellows or blues and oranges add a hint of a pinky hue just in between it makes the huge difference it really does make all the difference you see so i'm going with this very light shade of pink now in between the two of those i won't go too far i'll stop there i'm going to soften it down And you can see how the MDF board, it's just really, really smooth. And it allows you to really soften out your brush strokes. Now I'm going to clean my brush, okay? Just dip it in some turpentine, wipe it well on some tissue, just to get most of that orangey colour off. And I'm going to start going into some mauve kind of colour. So we're going slightly more into the mauve and blues now, okay? So let's take some magenta, little white. And a touch of blue, tiniest touch of blue. See? A little thinners, just a little thinners, just to thin it slightly. Let me have a look at that now, okay? That's a little bit too pink, isn't it? Let's go more blue. So it's more on the bluey side of mauve. A very light mauvey blue. You see that? That's I think that's what we need. I'll go around some of these. Soften it down just into your pink area. You see that? So the trick really that I'm trying to do is to get a nice pinky layer between the orange and blue. That's all I want to do, okay? I want to soften it into the orangey colour. Soften it in well. We want a nice soft mix going from orange into a mauve into a blue that's all i want so i'm softening it right down look and i'm even picking up the, the the orange down below and i'm bringing it up and transferring it across the canvas you see that that's the idea now i'll stop at that clean my brush so i want to get most of the orange out of this brush most of it most of that ready orange color I'm just going to quickly make sure my camera is still recording because with these things you just never know, do you? Okay, into some blues. Let's take phthalo blue and some white. And then I'm going to go with a little black and some magenta, okay? So you can see up on the left-hand side, there's this kind of very dark... It's a very dark, bluey, blacky kind of a colour, isn't it? I'm just going to... And remember, plenty of magenta in this. That will keep it warm 
and keep the colors nice nice and warm and pinky not too pink but they will you know it will it won't make the colors go a kind of a dark blacky muddy color i want rich rich darks in all of this again soften it through that color there look just bring it through nice and gently we have a nice a nice gradient of color now don't we now i'm going to even pop a little bit through here and there look just like that we can soften them out in a minute just to create little forms in the background that's all slight little forms now dampen my brush again this time i'm going to go really nice and strong so i need more magenta i'm going to pick up some phthalo blue plenty of phthalo blue plenty of magenta and then a little black okay now i want to go really nice and dark with this so plenty of three of those colors not too much black by the way but plenty of magenta and blue if you don't have magenta crimson will also do okay let's go up here and put a nice dark in there and again more magenta i want to keep it nice and pinky you know touches of pink through the color here and there um i'll go right over across some of these here all those smaller little bubbles i can go right across we'll paint those in later now another touch of magenta bring it down then into this slightly lighter shade softening it down then we're going to start going very bright so this will be a wonderful color for you to try okay very very bright bluey rich blue kind of royal blues that kind of color let's take some phthalo blue and some white okay just two of those and just on top as well just a little touch of magenta now let's try this ah uh -huh. there we go i have a nice thick mix on my brush as well by the way it's not very thin because i really want to cover this canvas very well i'm going to go, go around that little water droplet there now you'll notice as well when painting on mdf your paint may start to kind of dry in slightly quicker than you want um but it still leaves room for mixing mixing colors together which is nice so i'm just giving little flicks all the way look to soften this through okay now dampen the brush give it a quick clean i always have a habit of cleaning my brush just quickly dipping it in turpentine and rubbing it quickly on the tissue um, it just keeps the colors fresh and it stops colors from mixing around in your brush so nice bright colors let's go a little bit whiter over on this side now that color there that kind of a blue i can see straight away that's kind of a cobalt blue it's almost like a touch of a cerulean in there it's kind of a greeny blue a bright greeny blue so i'm going to maybe take some cerulean blue just for this spot down here okay i can kind of see that color so i might just take look just a tiny bit of cerulean if it comes out by the way it's very cold in the studio today it's winter here now it's minus six outside and i only have a timber studio i have a little heater on behind me but it is freezing cold my hands are freezing but i don't mind because the pain thing distracts me it takes my mind off of the cold isn't that right some cerulean and some white and i think that's the color isn't it it's kind of a lovely greeny sort of a blue only slightly greeny blue now that's all pop this in you can see i'm putting on plenty of paint don't be shy about the paint okay so now we have this what are we going to do with this so what i'm going to do is take lots of white and some of that blue and i'm going to just soften it gently across the pink first look so then we have a nice soft blend into the pink we don't have any muddy colors we have a nice transition 
just keep softening until you're happy okay and then mix across now the next thing I'm going to do is get some very bright colors some white lots of white and a touch of phthalo blue and I'm going to put lots of bright down here and again because we have orange down here I'm going to just take a hint of pink little touch of pink and I'm going to soften that just across the orangey color first look so that then allows the blue to kind of mix subtly just across very gently just like that then we come across the blue I'm barely touching the board now by the way okay First, just very very lightly flicking my brush just the tip of the brush across the board so then we get that nice transition see now also what I want to do is just down here I want to put a nice pinky color just down here as well uh, let me get some uh, magenta up here I just want to put a touch of pink through the corner down here just to darken it slightly ever so slightly and what I'm doing is just literally putting touches of this just here and there on the board look little touches it's really just to create some interest in the back room that's all that's really all I want to do um, okay so I think I'm nearly there with the background I'm just going to lighten the blue just a little bit more bear in mind I don't want to lighten this blue too much because we have some nice lights on the water droplets as well so I don't want to lose the lights I want to keep a nice dark ish background but I think certainly down at the bottom down here I could put in a really nice bright white look just to really give it that bit of glow down on one side so these water droplets could be on a bit of glass or something like that with the color showing through the background I'll stop that and I'm just going to get my soft brush and let's just start softening make sure you have no paint on my brush now and my soft brush isn't very very soft but it's enough just to take away some of the brush strokes soften some of this out let's go across and let's just soften all of these together very gently now the great thing about MDF is it has a, a lovely kind of a drag across the board it's different to canvas um, when you're painting on canvas a background like this they kind of soften together very easily but on the board the MDF board because it's slightly dry um, the board it's allowing me to kind of drag the paint very slightly just here and there so it's not kind of really blending them very much and I won't go too much on this I just want to sort of get rid of some of the brush strokes on that how's that now that's not bad next thing I'm gonna do is just start putting in a few suggestions of little bits of water droplets in the background okay I mean well, what I mean by that is very hazy ones so they're going to be very very hazy little water droplets I use a small brush okay I'm going to just take combinations of all the colors we have so a little bit of that light blue look if I go up there and put a little bit of that light blue there and put a little bit of it up there like that you see and remember I'm just focusing on loose details okay not I'm not going for very fine fine details if you know what I mean um, I'll take a bit of magenta and I pop some magenta in there let's go a little bit warmer with this now yes uh, touch of red touch of magenta and then a hint of white I want to start putting some suggestions of little touches of pink because the individual water droplets are going to be catching 
the lights of um, it's just very very hazy light you understand what I mean so I'm just going to go like little tiny little amounts of color just tiny amounts look you see just like that like that we'll have one or two big ones up there we could put a bit of orange then up here you see a little bit of magenta a little cadmium red and putting touches of nice pinky ones as well you see now i'll be softening all of these into the background as well okay bear in mind so i'm going to take magenta and some naples yellow then take more naples yellow on my palette so like look we're taking our time with this background but we're having some fun i want to have some fun with the background in this take some naples yellow i'm gonna come down here and pop some naples yellow in to add an extra just some lights in the orangey color as well see what i mean I come up here then pop a little touch of it just here and there and i know now at the moment it's kind of looking a bit strange and all of that don't worry now i'm going to take some blue a little bit of magenta and i want to pop little touches of that here and there into some of these you see So now you can kind of begin to see what I'm doing. I'm transferring opposite colors into opposite sides of the board, okay? Painting, just transferring them. Um, okay, let's get another one around here. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try something. Um, I'm gonna get a round flap or even a small worn flat brush I'm going to take little touches of color right and I'm going to just go like this okay I want them to sort of almost disappear Now I'll stop at that and I'll soften some of these together. Now I could use a lovely soft fan brush here. Let me just sort of soften them out, okay? I want them almost to sort of disappear into the background a little. Do you understand what I mean? So it's creating like a haze, a hazy effect. And the soft fan brush is perfect for this. Any soft blending brush will do as well for this, okay? Just rub across them up and down left and right just soften them out you could even go around in circles as well look and it's really just to add a bit of interest to the background that's all all right it's not you know we could go into loads of detail with the background and take hours and hours but we don't there's no need really i don't think um this is just a very loose impression of water in the background okay just little water droplets that's all i want to do i'll take that one off soften it out a bit i don't want to ruin my background too much by softening these in too much but you can kind of get the idea it's just a very late suggestion of some circles 
in the background that's all later on we'll start adding little details into some of these um okay should we start doing one of the water droplets i'm going to just check my gallery here now and i have a close-up of one of them um bu -bu -bum. okay i'm going to put one on your screen you see the bottom one so that bottom one i've transferred to this side over here let's try one and see how it works now if we can get one right we know then the system of doing the rest we know exactly. so it's a matter of getting one right and then simply copying that formula all the way around on your canvas that's really all it is i'm going to take a nice dark purpley color first now i'm going to go in like this follow your lines i have very faint pencil lines here as well by the way okay you probably can't see them but i can here start with a dark line like that then we're going to start adding some white into this it's going to start lightening slightly now when you're doing this it's very simple just follow the shape of the droplet follow the shape that you're doing okay see what i mean just follow it all the way around so i'm softening them in see what i mean like that just like that softening them in nice and gently then i'm going to start putting getting some white i'm going to put a nice white like that okay just white nothing else and then i'm going to kind of soften that white in and that's the beauty about oils because you can soften colors in lovely already we're getting there we're just getting there nice and slowly okay um right let me see now little reflections of pinks and stuff like that we have some of those i'm going to pop a little touch of this orangey color in just down here you see it's like that i get some magenta pop a little magenta in so i suppose what you're trying to do is because it's a water droplet it's going to reflect certain colors that are around it now i go to a small pointy brush you find one i have a new one nice new pointy brush look at that and i get some white and i grab my stick okay now i'm just going to go around the edge and refine that edge so you see now this is the beauty of oils and especially working on mdf you see the lovely crisp line we have if this was canvas you'd see all the little grains of the canvas which gets annoying sometimes if we're trying to get detail on a painting but this is just wonderful this allows me to really go nice and dark and get nice fine crisp lines i'm going to go with some blacky blue just put some of that down here and i'm simply just looking at the photograph just look at the directions of the lines where you see the lights and where you see the darks and just copy them okay as best you can like that well, i'm going to bring this one up and back slightly and i go just past the white over here like that already it's starting to look like a little drop of water isn't it but we need to put some little touches of haziness on this and when i say haziness i mean little touches of light blues here and there okay now what i'm going to do actually is i just need to get a slightly bigger brush for a moment i'm going to take some cerulean and some white and i'm going to put some cerulean with white just there and there okay just along one side of this little water droplet because i can see it's reflecting that beautiful greeny blue if you look close at the picture you'll see it reflects a beautiful kind of a greeny blue
and soften it around like that. Then it goes into a much richer blue. So phthalo blue and cerulean. Nice thick paint. Now don't be shy with the paint. See what I mean? Nice, rich, strong colours. Don't be shy. So we've won. Water droplet pretty much almost finished. Almost. All we need on this is a couple of small, small highlights. And you'll see this then start to jump from the canvas. All right. So first of all, I have a couple of lighter colours. couple of lighter blues, some phthalo blue and some white, and I'm just going to pop a suggestion of little reflections just here and there, you see? And then maybe a nice pinky one, just to reflect a little bit of pink. Maybe just through the blue here, like that. Okay, now, just stand back and take a look. Let's just take a look. I'm happy enough with that now so far. So you see, it's the very same formula now. If you're painting five or ten or just two, okay? It's the very same formula. You just copy what you've done. Now I'll take a little black and some magenta. And I'm going to soften this out like that because it gets slightly thicker just at the bottom you see that just slightly thicker then I'll just take a pointy brush and I'm going to take some black some of that blue and I'm just going to give this a slight point right what I mean is I want the water droplet to look like it's sort of coming off of the surface just like that you see that Does that look a little better? I think it does. It looks like it's just sort of coming off of the surface a little bit. And then some very bright highlights. Let's get some white on our brush. And I'm going to put, uh, let me see now. I'm going to put just a slight highlight just there. Okay. Maybe one around on the back and just here I want this very bright spot see that very bright spot we have just there Now, I might need a slightly bigger brush for this because what I want to do is just put in a solid brush stroke. One solid little touch of paint. Okay, pure white. Let me show you. Get a clean brush. Let's just take a good bit of white. And simply, look, a nice big thick brush stroke. So you really want that white then to stand out, don't you? Okay. Let's stand back and take a look. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think? Does that look like it's coming off of the board slightly? I think it does. I'm just going to fine tune. some of those look just soften them out like that all right and i know you might think this is difficult by looking at this but it's actually quite simple it is actually quite simple just take your time
and my friends that's one done i'll just put a nice dark black spot just along the bottom here and that rich dark even a bit of blue will really sit this down on the canvas okay And I think that's one done. So, how's that? One nice little raindrop on the canvas. And it's still not finished. We can still add little tiny details to this. Should we try a nice little small one next to it? Should we? Come on, let's try it. Let's try a small one. Let's put a small one here, okay? So, a little light blue first. And then we go slightly darker. Put a nice darker blue just around. And you see, the trick I find is copying that curve. Getting that curve, you see. You're carving with every brush stroke. Do you understand what I mean? Try not to paint just in straight lines. What you want to do is get a curve, a nice curve. So let's take some white, look, and let's try this. A nice little curve. See? Just like that. Then we can go back to our smaller brush. We can get some nice dark blue. And a little magenta. And let's put some of that. So you can see I'm literally just replicating what I've done with that one up there, okay? And then we're taking some black with that blue. Very blacky blue colour. We're popping a little touch of that. like so and it's really just fine lines okay we're doing a lot of fine detail here and then some highlights now we need a little bit of an orangey color don't we i'm going to mix a little orangey color because i think just to get some of this nice pinky orange color into those would make a big difference so I'm going to pop a little touch of that here and there. Okay, I think that helps. And then with some white, let's get a little highlight in there. I'm going to use my stick now because my stick is much easier. I'm simply just looking at the photograph. I'm just looking at where all these little tiny dots are going. And then I put one or two, like that. How's that, my friends? So you could simply just take your time with this. It's the same process all the way across. okay please do try this now it's real fun it really is
I must say, do try it. It's just lots of little dabs of colour, okay? Now, I think in this part, last part, we should do the top left, or the top right, sorry. So I'm going to put that picture, you already have it on the screen, I'll just zoom in slightly for you. And let's do that top right water droplet. And I think this will really help, really jump off of the canvas, okay? Now, let me get some paint. So remember, if you can paint one and make it look good, everything else is exactly the same. That's all you must remember. Let's take some blue. A little white and some magenta. And I'm going to start with that color. Then I'll take more pink as it comes around. Okay. Again, remember, I'm just looking at the photograph. Wherever you see touches of color, add touches of color and soften them together. That's really, literally all you have to do. I'll get some black, some phthalo blue, and some magenta. Okay, now I'll go to the back. Let's put this one in down at the back here. And also you'll notice I'm not using a lot of thinners in this. Okay, not too much. You don't need too much thinners really. Um, I get nice dark purpley blue around the front here. Don't worry if you make a mistake as well. Look, you can take mistakes out. You can fix mistakes. All right. Mistakes are all part of the process, I think. If you don't make mistakes, you won't learn. That's just my take on it all. I think, you know, the whole journey of painting and learning, you have to make little mistakes. That's what it's all about, I think. Now remember, just follow the direction of the sphere. Think of a sphere, okay? A ball. Think of a ball. You're following the direction of all the curves. That's all we're doing, look. Now, I'm going to clean my brush very quickly, get some cerulean blue, and I'm going to put a lovely hint of cerulean blue, like that. Clean it again. Just paint on its own. Lots of thick paint. I'll put another. You can see a beautiful kind of a glow of cerulean blue up here, can't you? Comes up and it follows the water droplet around, doesn't it? Then I'll take cerulean blue with some white. And we'll go up here with this colour. All right, now just sit back, let's take a look. That is not bad. All right, not bad at all. Just remember, give yourself a little bit of credit um, because the important thing about painting is what I find is if you're going to be critical of yourself while you're painting, so if you say to yourself, that's not right, it's not nice, I don't like it, you've already failed in your painting okay um a little bit of it is okay to challenge yourself but don't be too hard on yourself don't be too down on yourself about it all right honestly just give yourself a little credit that's what i would say give yourself a little bit of credit because look it takes a little, just remember it took a lot to get where you are today as much as you've learned it takes a lot to get that fair just don't forget that. And you've worked hard to get where you are. You've learned a lot. You've practiced a lot. Just look. Don't be down on yourself. If you're not happy, just try a different way. Or just, you know, just keep optimistic about it. 
Okay, a little bit of blue there. We have a lovely rich dark blue now down at the very bottom of this, don't we? It's a very nice blue. So I'm going to put plenty of that in. Now, because I already have a base coat on this, I have paint on there. Everything else I'm putting on is just paint on its own. No thinners, nothing like that. Just thick paint on its own. And it will stay much better. Right, I'm going to just soften this now, just slightly. I'm going to take my little fan brush and I just want to kind of soften some of the lines out just a little, just to make it nice and sort of hazy. Do you understand what I mean? Okay, just like that, look. Just make a little sphere, a little ball. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my smaller brush. And this is where all the fun happens when you're getting into the details. This is where all the fun comes in. Takes lots of white, okay? Just take lots of white. Let me get my stick. And let's go right up here. And put a nice band of white just like that. All right? That's one. And I'm going to just sort of transfer it down, creating the curve, you see? A palette knife as well is perfect for this if you want. You can try a palette knife by all means. Please do. Um, okay, I'm going to put, you see that piece we have across here? Like that. And we have another little one. Like that. Okay. And I'll create slight little curves. Out from that. Now, a pointy brush. A nice small pointy brush. Take some white. And let's go down here. And let's just put little highlights. I put one, a long one, down at the back here. You can see, again, simply just look at your photograph and see where the lights are going. And remember, it does not have to be perfect, okay? I know this is not going to be perfect. But I'm just trying to copy the photograph as best I can. That's all I can do. And with each brush stroke, finish in a little flick. So you're not just stopping the brush, you're letting it simply lift off of the canvas gently like that, all right? You want it to be kind of like fluid, nice and soft and almost sort of disappearing. See, leave it lift off. Nice, just like that. Now I'm gonna take some of that nice orangey color again. Let's get orange, pop a little orange. You can see those little reflections of orange here and there. So I'm just gonna use some of that color I just want to get a little touch of that orange here and there. Now there's a lovely reflection on the back of that, of that lovely orangey colour. It's really wonderful. So let me just mix a bit of that up. Let's get some red, maybe a little yellow. Try a bit of burnt cyanide. Some cadmium yellow and some magenta. I just want to get some of that beautiful orangey hue at the back, just at the back of this water droplet. And there's a little bit of it coming down here like this, isn't there? Okay, let's stop and take a look. Now that's coming on quite nice. I need a slightly darker color. I'm gonna just start darkening 
up around the backs. All right. I'm going to take some phthalo blue, some magenta. Now, anyone can do this, honestly. If you just copy, take your time and copy this, you will be able to do this. No problem whatsoever. I have all the faith in you. Don't worry. Just take your time. Remember, if you can do one, you can do them all. They're all the same. Okay, you have a nice dark up at the back up here, don't we? Put that in there. Nice dark coming in down here. And you can see why MDF board is so nice to work on. The lines are nice and crisp, aren't they? Nice and sharp, which is what you want. Now for these thin lines, add a little turpentine in. Just give yourself plenty of um, watery paint to work with, okay? Don't be shy, just put loads in. I'm gonna make a nice point on this. It's gonna come down like this and then come out to a point. Same here. And remember again, just following the shapes. That's all it is. Follow those shapes. This one comes more flat here, doesn't it? We have another nice one in here. Okay. It's just darks and lights. All right, my friends? Darks and lights. Try not to be put off. Soften the back in, look. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with that light there is simply put it down. I'm going to soften the middle one just gently from side to side. Look. I soften this one out slightly and then just pull it sideways. That gives you that lovely hazy highlight, doesn't it? You see that beautiful haze that we have. I think lastly, a little bit of white. Bright white. And let's fix up some of these highlights. So we have a nice bright highlight coming across. All the way here, don't want me. Another good point, if you have shaky hands and you're trying to get these lines nice and straight, lean down hard on your brush. That makes bright lines much easier and details much, much easier. Okay, just a little tip for you. Lean down, push down hard on the brush. That really, really helps. Let's go again, get some nice bright white. And I'm just picking out now little points which I think will catch the light. Okay. Um, let's give this a nice thick band just there like that. And I'm going to go with a nice rich colour 
again at the back. Born Sienna, cadmium red. I want to just go for a nice, rich, rich, ready colour at the back of that, okay? Just to catch the highlight. And I'll give that little touch of colour as well. Just. Here and there. Now, I'm going to put a touch of very light blue here and there, just on just there, you see that? And my friends, that then finishes, I think, part one. I'll put one small little one just below this. Just to sort of sit that down on the, on the glass or whatever it is it's on. Just to sit it down, okay? It's the same process, but just in much smaller quantities. That's all it is. So let's take a little bit of cerulean. Then a little touch of black. Nice dark black. And I get a tiny touch of that ready colour, that kind of an orangey hue, just here and there. It's just to catch the reflection. That's really all it is. Tiny bit of white. We have a very bright, bright up here. Okay, now I'm going to stop at that, my friends. I will brighten the light up here. Let's just give that a real, real splash of bright colour. Um, let me get a brush. A nice clean brush. And let's take some white. Lots of white, look. Loads of brush with white. And let's go up here. And let's give this... A nice bright white finish up there. And lastly, let's just put a little touch of it right on the top. Now, I'm going to soften that very gently, just the edge of it, okay? And I might actually just, again, brighten this one ever so slightly as well, just a touch. Just like that. And a little on here, perhaps a little there. That's it, my friends. Part one is finished. Let me just clean my trousers. I have some paint on my trousers. Will I zoom in for you? Just give me a quick look. There we are. 
remember just look if you can do one they're all exactly the same process from then on all right exactly the same so with that i bid you a very good day i hope you've enjoyed watching at least if you think it's a little bit too complicated um just try to simplify it just put solid brush strokes all around the water droplet and then just soften them together with a small soft brush and you'll be amazed of the difference that makes and again those final bright bright white highlights really just bring it to life don't they um, they bring any kind of a spherical object to life bright white highlights so just try it let me know what you think and i'll be back again with part two very very soon um, something different thank you so much for joining my friends do subscribe if you haven't done so you're missing a lot and thank you to my patrons thank you so so much um, i hope you've uh, enjoyed today's lesson um, god bless and i will see you again very very soon